Hello and welcome everyone to another video here on the channel. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the brand new map Gondola inside of Call of Duty Vanguard. And I'm pretty excited, I am a fan of Vanguard, I know it might not be the popular opinion among my peers, but uh, overall I'm really excited for our first drop, or actually our second drop, of content here for the game. So anyways, before we get into the map walkthrough, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you guys haven't already, and uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. Alrighty, so first of all, we're going to notice it's a pretty classic three-lane map. We've got uh, the mid lane, and we've got a bit of a right little cutout there, and then we've got the open left lane. So I guess we'll just start things off going to the left lane seaside off of uh, Rip. So we've got a lot of buildings to choose from here, right from the beginning, actually, in a little bunker area. Kind of reminds me of, I uh, can't think of the name of the map off the top. Okay, so now we've got a little room here. Okay. It's giving me like battery vibes from Call of Duty World at War, if anybody's ever played battery in uh, World at War. Uh, with the gondolas mainly. Oh, you can ride those, I believe. Let's go see. Let's go get in one. Let's get in this gondola here. It's very slow. Securing Wish this was sped up a little bit because you're definitely going to get picked in here. Uh, I wonder if you can place a uh, portable piece of cover in here. See what kind of sight lines you get from up around here. You got to see the hills. You got to see the cross. You got to see in the building. You can ooh, you can jump down here to B. So this is fast access to B. And then you immediately catch the other team at the same time. And then you cross on over graciously into their spawn. Let's see if you can get a little drop here. Okay, on the rock, no fall damage there. Let's just go see what's going on over here. Let's go all the way back and let's work our way around. Okay, so if you did choose to go through this room, you could just cut through to the left side here through that doorway. All right, these are all cliffs. This is definitely... Okay, this is kind of like a rush route, but you have to hide a little bit. Oh, there's a nice little ladder to be as well. You're probably going to get gunned while doing it. And then when you get up here, there's a lot of destructible cover. So this is going to be a very div div area here. And B has a ton of places to defend from. Interested to see how this would play out in search. I think in search, this is going to be a much more kind of tense map. All right, let's save this for later. We'll go back into A and we'll wrap through mid. Is there a pit there? I don't think you can jump down there. Yeah, that's probably not a place to go. Little room here. Let's see. Okay, this is a good sniper spot. You can check in to see. You can probably get a good view of the gondolas. You can get some decent views of B. Not too bad for snipers overall. Let's see if there's any sight lines from here. Oh, yes. Nice little mounting spot to get anybody that's sitting on B. Spawn area, pretty basic, just a bunch of rocks to cover you from spawn traps. And now we will go down the middle lane of the map. I mean, technically on this side, this would be the left lane that we just came through with the right. Let's see what kind of choices they have in their spawn. They have the... Okay, so they have the back main area, or like the back shed. The vehicle maintenance bay is what it says. They have this door here, and then they have a catwalk, and then they have the wide open over here where A flag is, interesting enough. Uh, no sight line to see though from here, and then they can immediately cross back over, so not terrible. Uh, door as well here. Oh, there's a second story. Okay. So they get some windows back here. Okay. Not terrible. Uh, I'm interested on the type of sight lines you'll get with a sniper. This is going to be a really good long shot spot as well, so definitely some things to keep in mind while grinding for camos. Right, let's make our way through. Okay, so this kind of branches off to... It looks like the left lane, or on the other side would be the right lane. Kind of branches off into both this middle catwalk area and this generator room. So, this is an interesting little area here. Let's just take a look around. Okay, so a lot of the action is going to be happening on this catwalk area. You can shoot in. Taking Baker! See what kind of cover you have in here. You have the staircase, or not the staircase, the ladder. You have these walls. These explosive tanks blow up. No, they do not. 
and you got a wall here and then you can climb back up on this ladder where you're completely exposed but you're looking over the flag and let's go take a look at the generator room can we get up on these generators yes we can kind of gives me the uh vibe of hazard from black ops one if anybody remembers that let's hop on these generators I had decent sight lines. Uh, I wish those windows were destructible. That would be cool. Overall, not too shabby. And there's not there's not really that much like from surface area. Oh wait, actually, I'm missing a whole little area of the map here. There's a cave, whole little cave. Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't go through the right side. So this is where that bunker on the right side connected to was a uh, was a little cave formation. And we'll go through this building as well. And it looks like there is a main floor, we'll just run back through, that connects you. And then you've got the cave I just went through. And this side gets their own second story as well. Let's see what kind of lines of sight we have from here. Oh, this one's pretty good for the B flag. This one's way better than the other side, in my opinion. Uh, but the other side has their advantages in terms of the hill. I think they have the, the higher ground. So, as far as the... As the balancing goes, it's kind of uh, to be determined. I would say that if you're on this side of the map, if you're going for long shots, I would go here on C flag. And I would try to snipe people over at A and people over at B. And if you're on A side, let's go and take a little trip. The second story window would definitely be my pick. And honestly, it might be one of the nastiest long shot places in the game uh, in terms of snipers i don't think i would use it for like assault rifles or subs but let's see oh nice there's a little jump up spot here oh yeah this is nasty this will do really well for snipers you could even ar it like mount and like lmg slash ar and since this is destructible cover uh you could probably use piercing vision with an lmg to get your uh long shot kills and you could always ride the gondolas so overall guys uh i can't wait to play this this map it's kind of cool. Uh, I don't mind it. It's a three-lane map. It's got wide open areas. This will definitely be hectic on Blitz. I can't wait to see how killstreaks will work. And that ball turret gunner will definitely wreak havoc. It is absolutely overpowered as all heck. And uh, I'll link those videos in the description down below so you guys can see the other map. As well as some gameplay of that ridiculous ball turret gunner. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video.